Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Please hit that subscribe button, like, and comment and let's get right into this video. So today I'm going to be doing another Lazy Girl Method set and I really love this method. It is so easy and convenient and the nails always look so nice. So I'm just going to start off by pushing back my cuticles with my cuticle pusher. And for this set, I'm going to be trying some new full covered nail tips. And these are more of a tapered square shape. Usually I wear, I use those McCart ballerina ones. But this time I wanted to try something different. So I bought these um, tapered square ones and you can check them out in my nail haul video. And I just sized them up and now I'm just going to buff the inside of the nail with my cuticle bit and this just um, makes the nail tip adhere to the natural nail better. So now I'm going in with some nail dehydrator to cleanse the nail tips and this set is going to be a fall slash autumn look so i'm going to use some um stickers that have like leaves and trees fall, fall look and then i'm using some orange glitter the two different kinds and some orange gel polish and then i'm using my mccart rose and my mccart clear to encapsulate the nails And now I'm just going to start off by placing a thin coat of base coat to all of the nail tips. So as I was putting the orange mylar in the tips, it wasn't sticking as well as I wanted to, but also I thought it was like too simple. So I decided to go in with this black slash orange dark orange glitter and so i started placing it in the tips first and then i placed the glitter um, afterwards the mylar afterwards So once I was done placing that glitter in, I went in with my McCart Clear. And like I said, before I was having a hard time placing that Mylar in. So I thought that it would be easier if I added the um, gel first and then put the Mylar in. And it did help a, a bit. Um, as you can see, um, I still was having a little bit of difficulty, but that's okay. Ended up still working and I only put a little bit because like I said I didn't want to overwhelm the nail um, but I might have with that uh, dark glitter you guys let me know um, when you guys see the outcome if it was too much or if it came out perfectly fine So once I've cured the nails, I go back in with a somewhat um, thick coat and just encapsulate that glitter and mylar. So after I've encapsulated the nail tips, and cured them, I finished prepping my nails and I just placed some nail dehydrator and some primer and then go into base. So for my thumbnail, I totally forgot to place a coat of um, 
base coat and so i just went in and started adding the tips on with my mccart rose um with the ombre look as i'll do for the rest of the nails but then i go i remembered and i went in with my base coat and base coated all the rest of the nails and then did the same procedure as i did for the thumb And this is how they look after I placed them on. And to me, I felt like the pink that rose for the McCart was just a way too light. Um, I wanted something a little bit darker um, for the ombre look because you can clearly see my nail and I didn't want that. Um, and I thought also maybe next time I could have just used like gel polish. Um, place a, a, a coat of gel polish before I added the rose and then maybe you know that would make it um, stand out better so right now I'm just um, encapsulating it even more by placing a thin coat of that clear and then curing that for 60 seconds and now um, to touch up the sides and the cuticle area I just go in with my nail file and uh, reshape the side And so because usually when doing this procedure, I get gel on the sides or by the cuticle area. So I just go in with my cuticle bit to remove that excess gel and also um, clean up the cuticle area and make sure that the tip looks seamless to the natural nail. And so now I'm just going in with my nail buffer to buff out the scratches before I use my gel polish and my top coat. So this is how they look so far not so bad i'm going to um cut out some stickers of the leaves so i chose to do like three stickers on each nail and um, to make the uh, stickers a hair better and my gel polish a hair better i'm going to add some protein bond to all my nails and then add the stickers and then do my outline of a french design on all the nails And I'm sorry guys, I made a mistake. They're not stickers, they were nail decals. And the difference is that you have to put them in water before you add them onto the nail. So this is what I'm doing now. And I'm not a big fan of nail decals. 
um, but I didn't have any stickers, so that's why I had to use them. The reason why I'm not a big fan is because um, when you take them out the water, you have to hurry up and put them on the nail or they will um, basically like crumble up together and then it's over. You literally can't use it no more because they will not um, unravel itself. So that happened to me a couple of times. Um, while doing this process but after I was done they look really cute and here I'm just going in with some base coat um, to make sure that it's cured and nice and stays um, in place before I put my gel polish. So now I'm going in with this orange gel paint that I got from Savvyland. And I have a video on all these um, Savvyland gel paints that I received, 36 of them. I highly recommend them. I've been like using them for the past few videos. Um, they go on so opaque. The uh, consistency is really great. I love them a lot. And so right now I'm just outlining the nail tip and making it into a V, um, V shape, I mean, sorry, a French design. So I just want to remind you guys, I am a lefty, so I was using my non-dominant hand for this. So if the lines look crazy, I'm sorry. I tried my best to get these lines straight and the um, French part um, down pack. Um, I hope they came out good if you guys, I like them so much. I think this set was so cute. I love this fall set. I love the colors, the glitter. It came out so beautiful. Um, but like I said, guys, please don't judge me on the lines. I am using my non-dominant hand. So now I'm all done with the set and I'm just going in with my top coat. And guys, like I said before, I love this set. This is definitely one of my favorite sets that I've done. Um, it's so cute. Only if you, if you guys could see it in person, the stickers and the uh, glitter looks so much prettier in person. I wish you can see it like just as much in, on the camera, but you can't. Um, and once I put like the, um, once I top coat the underneath of it, it really makes the glitter shine even more beautifully. Um, let me know what you guys think. And like I always say, if you guys want me to do a design or, um, anything, guys, just let me know in the comments. If you think guys think I'm talking too much and you want me to be quiet and, show more work or if you want me to have longer videos or shorter videos please let me know guys I, I you know take in all your comments in consideration and this is the final look guys I'm gonna add some cuticle oil for those cuticle those crusty cuticles as you guys can see 
and thank you guys so much for watching um thank you guys for subscribing and liking my videos and commenting thank you guys and i'll see you guys next time